You pitched like you were a middle linebacker. Well, look, that, did, you, did you feel that way? Well, you, you see, a six foot, 190 pound guy, you, you better act like that. You better come with it, or you're not going to get very far. So, so, would you ever be described as an angry SOB? I, I'm, I'm sure. I got called that multiple times <laughs> on, on, a night, on a nightly basis. So, no. because you were called that multiple times, you looked at that as a badge of honor. I did. Okay. Look, so I, you, we, we're not trying to be nice in between the lines. You know, I'll be nice and we'll go to coffee and we'll have dinner afterwards. We'll go have some drinks and change your life okay. after the game. But when it's between the white lines, <laughs> <laughs> and change your life is a good line. <laughs> Suck in there. Um, so, yeah, you were an angry SOB when you pitch. So I want to know from you, this is your segment here. Right. Give me the first guy at the top of your head that fits the mold of on your all SOB rotation. Well, number one's got to be Mighty Max Scherzer. I mean, let's talk about who Mighty Max is and what he represents when it's Max Scherzer day. This guy, like you said, friendly guy off the field. Mm -hmm. But when it's game time, I'm not coming out of this game, Davey Martinez. Look at him. No chance. I'm better than anybody you got down there. You see Max yelling at the Cardinals. You know, here, here's the Cardinal. <laughs> Mets debacle when you see this guy's far from pitching, but again, standing up for his teammates and what he believes in, Mighty Max, number one. And he's from list. St. Louis. He grew up a Cardinal fan. Willie McGee was one of his favorite players, and he still mouths off to them, too. Uh, angry SOB. I can't believe I'm saying that right now, but this is the all SOB team, according to Jake Peavy, who was also an angry SOB when he pitched. So who else is in your rotation? Well, I may have influenced this guy. We had a guy named Chris Sale come up, and, and young guy out of Florida in, in Chicago, White Sox. Chris Sale is the epitome of competitor passion. You see right here, just attacking guys. Chris Sale came to the big leagues with the mindset that I'm here to dominate. And again, you just see it right here. It's the game he's not pitching. He's in the dugout yelling, I need two runs, guys. My guy's pitching his rear end off out there. Chris Sale. Welcome to the All SOB team. Yeah, this is an odd. These guys are watching right now. They're like, this is cool. They're calling their wives and they're fired up right now. So we got we got Max Scherzer, we got Chris Sale. Who's your number three starter on the All well, SOB rotation? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a message by this guy being number three and not being number one. And it's arguably he could be number one. Ooh. The mighty Madison Bumgarner, big southpaw from Hickory, North Carolina, means business. Got a chance to play with Bad Bum for three years out in San Francisco. You watch this right here. Puig <laughs> goes and gets a ball out over the plate. Where's the next place you got to throw it? Again, he throws it down and in, but he moved did. his feet. You see, Mad Bum, he pretty Don't much look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I remember that. He'd rather fight than, than pitch half the time, <laughs> you know. And uh, you see Muncy there. You better run out of the box, boy. Don't show me up like that. Bum Gardner. Uh, there's not uh, many guys I played with that have the ability to take it to another level. Is he the grumpiest of all of them? Complete. Uh, <laughs> com completely. He might be uh, the not so coffee, not so good coffee. Dad. <laughs> He's not good there either. Okay, so Mad Bum's your number three starter, the all SOB rotation. Who's number four? Well, been some older guys in it so far. I love Joe Musgrove, number 44 in San Diego. has got a soft spot in my heart. This guy competes. I, I started following the Padres as I ventured out of the game, watching this guy with 44 on his back. It gave me some soft spot, but then talking to the pitching coach, Larry Rothschild, Darren Balsley, who knows this guy well. This guy competes, you see, through the first no-hitter in San Diego. It takes an SOB to get through a no-hitter. He smiles a lot, though. That's okay. Again, it's all right to smile and have fun as long as you mean business and the batters know you mean okay, business. Okay, okay. So he's got that intimidating scowl when he's on the rubber. That's right. Okay, okay, that matters. We're rounding this out. There are, do you know how many pitchers right now are watching this in the clubhouse? They're like, <laughs> I hope I'm picked next. They want to be on the all-SOB rotation from Jake Peavy. Who's number five? Well, you're going to see number five. The big boy went today. He's about your size, 6'6", 260-pound Alex Manoa. I love this kid. This guy is a beast, and look at this competitive nature. Oh, look at that fist pump. I love it. The tattoos just flowing, gold chains everywhere. He just looks like he's been a big leaguer for years, and the guy is barely new on the scene. Big presence, you see, running off the field. I think he's going to be a big reason why Toronto's is who they're going to be. Seven scoreless today. He's got a 1-1-4 ERA. Against yeah, the he, Boston Red Sox. Yeah, and he knows he's good. That's right. He knows he's good at a young age. Where's number six? To wear a single digit, you're pretty cool Love to do it. that when you're a pitcher. Okay, so you have to have a closer. And these are usually the angriest guys on the mound, right? That's true. Like, remember Al Roboski, the mad Hungarian? He kind of started that whole brand. <laughs> so who fits the mold to be the closer 
on your all SOB rotation. Well, here he is right here. The South Side of Chicago is represented very, <laughs> very well with this cat right here. Liam Hendricks is full of emotion. You're going to watch right here in the pouring down rain. I can't hold this ball. Give me another one. Look at this guy. <laughs> Ready to go. Look at this. That's so good. Are we serious here? But again, just attacking the strike zone, and you see that energy and passion. That's what the game's about. Watching these players get excited. When you see a guy walking off the mound and exhibiting that kind of emotion, you realize what the game means to him. He said um, that he told his wife that he's possessed when he's on the mound. He's well, a completely different human being. I see that, Greg. And look, I felt the same way. People would say, what is happening out there? Why are you yelling like that? And I'd say, look, I can't really control that. It is just an inner intensity, and I want to beat your rear end. And that's what happens when you walk between those white lines. Things change. The bright lights come on, and it's go time. You're messing with my family. You're messing with my money and my career. It's time to get it on. Those six guys get it on. This is our, our first show together. Am I an SOB, angry SOB? Oh, yeah. I, I tell you what, after over there in 42. Uh, do I have, I have a chance? I'm so excited. Right.